Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard no horse <laughs> It's a foggy night in Randolph. Sitting back. Got my seat right here next to my old friend Jack. And it's so nice to be playing in the key of C. Guitar, got a little mind, <laughs> got a lot of fun, don't want to leave you behind, so we got to come out of the fog and we'll just walk on through and play this thing in C until we're through. Coming in your living room about what, 6 30? 7 30. 7 30? I was close. If you're in Morris County. If you're in Morris County, 7 30. And playing in the key of C for all you out there with the uh, your draw harps, right? Or your kazoos. Actually, it's the key of F. It's the key of F. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to know. <laughs> Never had no lessons. Ralph is playing a C harp though, right? I'm playing an F harp. No wonder I can't. No wonder I'm out of tune. <laughs> We're here on Horses Sing None of It is the name of the show and my name is Ralph Litwin and our guest tonight is Tom Barth who's playing the Tommy Hawk guitar which is his invention. His, is it patented? Uh, no, it's not. It's not patented. It's trademarked. So if you want to, it's, no, it's you want to steal it, wait a minute. You want to steal it? You no, can. it's actually, uh, <laughs> I should hide this. Uh, we're working at a patent on a new model. It's trademarked, Tommy Hawk's our trademark, but uh, 
the patent stuff is uh, very expensive these days and for the and complicated, uh, more complicated than I want to admit. Yes. So, uh, what what got you uh, thinking of a tiny guitar like this? Getting stuck in traffic, right? We had talked <laughs> about that earlier. Getting stuck in good old New Jersey and just sitting there and saying, God, if I could only. I only had a guitar somewhere in my car that I could play. So I always had a little one under the seat that I made, just a little tiny one, sort of a play guitar. It was a piece of wood off the side of my house. It fell down one day. We were <laughs> cutting through it was a piece of cedar, and it hit the ground, bonk, and I'm down on the ground going, hey, this could be a guitar. This, I bet you this will have sound. So we routed it out, put a little top on it, and sure enough, the first Tommy Hawk was a piece of siding from a house. <laughs> And we didn't patent it. Jeez, I didn't even think of patenting. But uh, we slowly went into uh, getting it all computerized. This is made on a computer. It's all been uh, digitized is the correct term. And um, the rest is history. We really have done a, we got into the blue book of Scott Chinnery's, which was a, uh, uh, a book of all these special guitars made for, uh, for, for Scott. And I made five guitars for him. It was, it was quite an honor. Okay. Smithsonian Institute, I was invited there. All right. Yeah, it was very humbling to, uh, after all these years of being in the music business, to uh, get some recognition. It was great. Now, they don't play enough anymore. So oh, when you told bad. me to come on the show, I was like, well, I know how to ramble. I'm a ramble. Jack Elliott's not around, so I figured I'll do a little rambling with you. Well, thank you for joining us. It's great the, to be uh, here. We should mention that uh, Kathy Ryan, who was supposed to be here tonight, couldn't make it, and Tom was generous enough to fill in at the last minute, so he's... Uh, My pleasure, he's really. Plugging his, uh, his wares. There you go, straight from the shop, <laughs> covered with sawdust. You grew up in, uh, in Morris County? Yeah, I'm a Dover boy. Yep. Um, the shop's in Sakasana. My, my great-great-grandfather was the blacksmith in Sakasana. No kidding. In the 1860s, so I had my guitar shop right in the same town 140-some years later, which is probably rare for people in Morris County. Nobody's from Morris County. I'm from Morris County. There you go. That's why we met. We've been catching up. Class right. of 68. Class of 68. We don't look too but bad. My, uh, my <laughs> grandfather had a hotel in Morristown. Is that right? Yeah, that he... He built and refurbished in 1925 with hot and cold running water. No kidding. Which street? Morris Street. Wow. The Washington Hotel. No kidding. The last existing part so of it is, really is Hennessy's Washington Bar. Wow. That's some good history. Yeah, we're natives. Ungala. There you have it. <laughs> <laughs> so you have, uh, you have a shop and... It's interesting. I've I heard about you a bunch of times from different people around the musicians. They kept telling me there's this guy Tom Barth who makes this little guitar, the Tommy Hawk. It sounds great. You ought to meet him. And then uh, okay. one day I was driving in the parking lot on my way to get my carpet fixed. <laughs> and I see. Was it Cole's carpet? Was it the guys behind me? Yeah. Great. Yeah. The other old friends. Good guys. And I see your name on the door. I go, that's the guy. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop. <laughs> Cool. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad you stopped. I, we've got so many friends in common. Yeah, and all our friends are musicians. And, musicians. Uh, yeah. Friends. We uh, were lucky enough to have made a lot of great friends playing guitars. And almost all my friends. Pickers and grinners. Pickers and grinners. Yep, I try to keep them grinning. <laughs> Never a dull moment. I thought, at first I thought you said peckers and peckers grinners. Peckers and grinners? No, don't go there. I get, I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> well, you want to play another tune? Yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to go through the, the arsenal of things that I've made yeah. over the years here. This is what a, the new ones look like with the logo on the, on the headstock here, the new F holes. Getting a lot That's of, nice. a lot of different. Show them the cherry on the back. Yeah, look it's at that. Natural cherry wood. Wood of New Jersey. Proud moment. Did you cut that one down? No. George Washington actually cut this down. No. Um, <laughs> I uh, got that piece of wood and realized that there should be more. Bruce Kunkel actually made a banjo out of, out of that wood cherry. And I said, boy, why doesn't cherry is beautiful? Why don't people That's use gorgeous. it for, for guitars? So I'm going to be making some uh, Les Paul Jr. kind of guitars this uh, spring with uh, Tunematics and P90s and 
just at a cherry, at a Jersey wood. Nice. Yeah, that it's, sounds pretty. It's good for the rainforest, you know. I've been using them. So many of the woods that we're using today are from the rainforest, and it's, we've got to find a better alternative. So what's better than right here? Cut the trees down right here in our yard. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs shade? We need guitars. Okay, what do we got here? This is a little big hawk. And uh, I've made one of these for Bruce Springsteen's 50th birthday, which was, I got a chance to meet Bruce, my, who was, uh, I'm a big fan of Bruce's over the years. And, and I understand he's, uh, this yeah, the and this is the prototype model. This is the one I made in the, this was actually when the shop was in Dover, up in Bobyville, North Dover. And I sort of made it very quickly downstairs out of a piece of mahogany and hogged it all out. It's an inch of solid wood and an inch of acoustic top. I was trying to get that, that bluesy kind of sound. So we didn't talk about that with the tomahawk. They're carved out of one block. Yes, exactly. Tomahawks are made out of one block of wood. No fingerboard, no sides, no back. Just the top is glued on and the bridge and some uh, braces on the inside. So That's it's cool. very new design, except for the quattro, which is really amazing to me. The Puerto Rican quattro is also hogged out like that. I found that out quite a bit later. I think yeah. it was that actually from that, that uh, Channel 13 show that was showing those guys cutting them out yeah, down there in had, Puerto Rico. We had those guys on. They're on the show? Yeah. Boy, I'd like to meet them. But they, they're in New Jersey. Yeah, I, I would really like to meet those guys. In, if I ever uh, leave. I think in Jersey City and I gotta get out of the shop more often, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they'd love to meet you. Oh, I'd love to meet those guys. You want to tell me what key I'm in first before we start? <laughs> I think we're in E on this one. Okay. I think that was, that was correct. I don't care what key I'm in. <laughs> as long as I can play. It don't matter. It don't matter anyway. We should tell folks how to get in touch with you while we're pausing. And 
That number is 973-927-6711, or you can go to www.tommyhawk.com. There's all kinds of information, contact information, and pictures of the guitars you make and so forth, I assume. Yes. Call now, we will include three picks. No, just kidding. <laughs> yes, it's a nice little website. We're, it's very old and moldy, but we're working on a new one. Hard to keep up with, uh, hard not to misrepresent yourself in the, in, the, in the field today because it's all of a sudden you have a website and it looks like, hey, use this great big store and let's call them up and can you give me a Marshall stack? You know, it's, get some crazy phone calls because you have a website. But I also attract a lot of people and uh, meet a lot of new people and it's, it's an amazing new medium. The emails and it's really been fun. I'm enjoying it, most of it. That's good. Except when people say, would you ship me that guitar? and Tell them that it costs a dollar, you know, so that the, <laughs> the border police don't charge me. You know, the Canadian guys have been giving me a hard time lately. But they're they common now. The import no, tax. they don't want to pay. So many people sell guitars and buy guitars, it's, it's a lot of fun. But it's usually a sideline. And, oh, I'll ship it for you, to you for nothing. No problem. And for when I ship a guitar, it's got to be packed perfectly. It has to be insured, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it's, you're sort of fighting against the, the hobbyist. So you sort of come on as being a little snooty, but it's, it's professional, actually, in my case. Yeah, the Canadians have been very interesting lately. I shipped one today to Canada, and uh, the guy wanted me to say it was his guitar that I fixed and sent it back to him. I said, well, if it gets stolen or broken, you're at, you know, six, seven hundred dollars. So to make a long story short, it went the right way. That's good. We don't want to talk, discuss any illegality. That's right. <laughs> I'm totally clean. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, uh, oh, and this also has a, a Duck Buck or Seymour Duncan up in the neck here. And what I was after was to give it that big jazzy kind of sound, but keep the body only 10 inches so it can sit like in a recording studio arms or on your couch. These are really not performing guitars. These are more for uh, palettes, for, uh, you know, working on things. A little different idea. This sounds very jazz. Now I'm going to go there. Ended up an A, sorry. <laughs> Did not. You gonna stay in A? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's actually the guitars, these guitars actually play themselves. Yeah, I guess I am. Figure it out in a minute. Just keep playing. I thought I was because I was an E here. I was, an, you know, I'm an A. Now, <laughs> well, there I go to D, and back to A. skipping as the CD was stuck, but we'll get it back. A9. A9 rhymes with K9. <laughs> That's right. I was going to do Walking the Dog, but it's a cover. Speaking of canine. But that's uh, electrified, a little bit different. 
Grover Campbell Cord. Thanks, bro. What and is that Grover Campbell Cord? I don't know. I don't have a clue. Next time I see him, you he'll made tell it me. up, huh? No. It's a '60s chord. I think it's at the end of "Rocking Around the Christmas Tree" or one of those. <laughs> it's Grover, though, isn't it? Is that Grover? Yeah, that's Grover. Great guy, Grover. Grover Kemble. He's a local artist who's in our opening montage. He's been on the show a few times. Grover and I watched the fights together. Good thing there's a Tyson fight. We're going to get a chance to get together and watch the fights. This is uh, one of the first things I made. A fellow named Norman Anderson, uh, who's an inventor. I've been trying to get Norman into the, the Inventors Hall of Fame. Worked with Les Paul quite a bit. Um, invented the stereo cutter for uh, LPs that little thing that would cut the groove in the records. He was a local inventor. Uh, he was in his 80s, he just passed away a year or two ago. Great guy. He invented a pickup for this particular guitar. He actually designed these. This one's been through a lot, as you can see. This is a Barth Vader. We Barth were the, Vader. We were in the basement of the shop in the 70s, and uh, somebody said, hey, we can invade the market. We'll call it the Barth Invader. And. Uh, <laughs> Star Wars time, and somebody said, hey, Barth Vader, and I go, oh boy, I'm never going to live that one down. <laughs> but it lived on, and it's been a lot of fun, this guitar. It's gotten me through a lot. But Norman designed the bodies and the necks. They were made by, at the Moserite factory in Bakersfield, California. Uh, Charlie Hargert from Blackfoot helped me uh, design the layout of the control knobs, which is like a Les Paul Jr. kind of idea. There was a big cavity in here for a stereo pickup that actually you played down, it came through the right speaker, you played up and it came through the left speaker. He had such stereo background with recordings that he thought, hey, how about a stereo guitar? <laughs> Tremendous idea. <laughs> Larry Coriel did some recordings with it. When you finger picked, the notes would jump around the stage. It was really cool. It, it, the out. problem was it was too far out. It was too ahead of its time. Musicians basically aren't <laughs> that smart. No, don't need anything that complicated. Yeah. Someday you may see it. I hope something happens with it for uh, Nor Norman's uh, grandson is still working on that project, if I understand it correctly. But this is, uh, this is the guitar I always played in clubs and wireless running around on the bars and having fun down at the, at the Hop in Dover. This is my rock and roll. These are my rock and roll guitars. You were talking about uh, a group that you played in with Mike Esposito and Right, yeah. Kate and Paul. Kate and Paul, Mike Esposito, Rockin', New Jersey. Schoolies Mountain Inn. To Louis Hours. Boy, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. I think it was right before Mike's daughter was born because she's got to be 14 or 15 now. That sounds right. Yeah. It was, I remember Pat was pregnant. And uh, yeah, those are great days up at Schoolies. This is... Uh, Little blues number. See that? A little graphic equalizer there. A little too boomy. Uh, uh, uh. You understand me? You make me feel so fine. Sweet, sweet darling, you're a good friend of mine. I'd just like to thank you for loving me the way that you do. So I sing my song just for you. Ever since I met you. My life has turned around You took a sad, sad story Yeah, you did, and you turned it all around I'd just like to thank you, baby For loving me the way that you do And I sing this one Straight off that TV set to you <laughs> At 7.30 and it's all because 
Yeah, you, you understand me. Understand me, baby. You're the best friend I got. And that's why I love you so. Do a little Willie Nelson so hard. been crying what's the matter baby you know how hard I've been trying I always love you love you with all my heart yeah and it's all because Understand me. You make me feel, you make me feel so fine. Yeah, you do understand me, girl. That's why you're the best friend this boy's ever had. Actually, thank you very much. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, man. Mike does that. He got that from me. No. Who got that from who? Jimi Hendrix. Mike and I always get that. <laughs> That's a Hendrix thing with a wah wah. Wah 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 I think we're just about out of time. Why don't you play that through one more time and we'll, we'll say goodbye. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. www.tommyhawk.com okay.